Uh huh. Where you can like eat any of it, and yeah. Yeah, That's this fun. game was really I like cool. That game. One review. I wonder who gave. I wonder who reviewed it. I wonder. No, oh, I wonder who reviewed that. <laughs> this is sad, guys. Guys, if you guys want a fun sad game, because it is a cute. This game came game. out a year ago. I gave this game a review the first day it came out, or the day after, mm -hmm. or something like that. February twenty fourth. Yeah, because yeah, because yeah, yeah. we did it together. The mm -hmm. day after. We played this game, we liked it. It's got one freaking review. There's no key redemptions, there's no other reviews here. I'm the only one that reviewed it. Let's see what the developer had to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was so much fun. And I gave it a 92%, it. guys. Mm -hmm. oh. And and you know I I'm usually, oh no, you know, I'm I'm not one to buy games and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. But this one I would. Yeah. I really, really would. This is one of those rare games on Steam that when I see, I'm like, I would buy that. Because it's fun. And I Dreamverse really Entertainment, do they have anything fun. else? They mm -hmm. have, they came out with this, they came out with, this one doesn't look oh, get negative reviews. Crawler. Yeah, this but, this looks bad. It doesn't look like my type of game. It, but, it looks like some of the un, other dungeon crawlers that we've seen. Here but since too. it was made by the same developer, what what does climb out though? Maybe we can. Well, it might have been the first attempt at a game. Or like a three D game, or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have fallen and you must climb out. Oh, this game looks cool. Procedurally generated levels, ninety nine cents. Dreamverse Entertainment, you guys are getting my money on this right now. We're going to play this game. We're going to see what's up with this game. I want to take a look at the know, reviews. Oh, though. It looks like there's some kind of platformy type action going on. A couple of negative reviews. A um, couple of positive reviews. Uh, let's try this game, guys. We liked Color War, their first game. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and do Lost something, guys. I am doing well. Nice! We got sliders. I like that. Yay! Help. Nope. WSD to move. Left click to shoot and hook shoot hook shot. Right click to release hook. Base to jump and release hook. Avoid lava spikes and falling rocks. Climb up as long as you can. Cool. Okay. Scores. Um, simple. Top 10 high scores. 1,000. We barely got, we only got to get like 1,000 points and we could be believed. Play. Might not be that easy. Maybe not. Probably not. Okay. So. Whoa. Whoa. Wait what? a minute. What's going on with the. Uh... Okay. So you can't. It looks like you can't put the cursor wherever you want. Um, you got lava coming. Okay. Gotta take a little getting used to. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> oh, it's different this time. Yeah, I think this is gonna take, just take a, a minute to figure out. All right, we're gonna oh, go. Like you need to go down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Around. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about this game is it's going to be different every time you play it. Sure. Oh, watch the spikies. Ooh, can we get up through there? I don't know. Yeah, there's nowhere to go here. Dang it. You might have to jump over. Or you can go all the way down, I guess. This is interesting. Lava was coming. <laughs> I don't think this is an asset flip. Oh, 
I would certainly hope not. It's almost, you know what it feels like? It almost feels like you're Spider-Man. So, oh yeah, I'm trying, I'm, I'm hurting myself. Bikes. Yes. But you can let go and then you, if you click fast, you can, and I, I, I can't go up there. So I don't want to let go here because then I'll land on the spikes. Um, oh God. You're gonna die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. <laughs> Wait for the inevitable. Um, every time you die, yeah, it's it's completely random generated. So you die, you just yeah, it just, looks like it. Mm -hmm. not, see, like right now, I'm, and you can't put this cursor wherever you want. See how you're limited by a range here. So yeah, well, whatever your range is, you need to worry. So you can jump. Went right in this line. game is hard. <laughs> Shut up, woman. Oh my God. I want to see you try this. No, I'm not going to. You can swing. I don't have to. There we go. Yep. Got to swing and jump. Okay. We can, there's a path over there. So I need to um, jump to hit this. To your right. That's in there. Oh. oh, God. Earthquake. This game is so not fair. This game is a cheater. Ah! Your game is not cheating. You're che game's <laughs> cheating. You're just learning. <laughs> game's cheating. It's not cheating. We. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, wait a minute. So you can go down and you can kind of give yourself slack. But I don't know. Let's swing over to this thing. Well, I don't know where we're going to go well, from there, though. It's called climb out, not go down. Oh, that's true. Hmm? You're supposed Ow. to get it out. Just climb out. It's reminding me where the top of the screen. I'm trying. <laughs> this is not easy. <laughs> I like the game, guys. It's, oh, look where I sp it spawned me on top of some spikes. How fair is that? Oh, See, I told you this game's a cheater. That's why you, you know what? I don't even want to say what that fire thing looks Hi, like over Mike. there. Hi, Mike. Welcome into the stream. See this, uh, today? see this fire thing over here that I'm looking at? I don't even want to say what it looks That's like. That's called lava. It's No. It's not called lava. <laughs> you know what it looks it like, and I'm not going to say it. It's it's lava. And you've got lava coming at you if you don't hurry up. Um... God dang it. How you doing, Mike? Motos, how you doing, man? What's up? How you doing? I'll see a new faces in the stream. Guys, yes. don't laugh at me too hard. I like this. This game's totally worth the 99. There you go. Sarah, <laughs> stop. Guys laugh at me too hard, and Virtus and I are laughing. <laughs> what? Um... Poor guy. Ah! Damn it. My high score is 73. I gotta get at least 111. Yeah. You wanna make it in the top 10. How, how is your, um, how's your ankle feeling? Rock and roll. Joe, how's your ankle feeling? Are you feeling any better? Oh god. Oh dear. Oh no. On the top, not the bottom. Eek. I love this game though. This game is challenging, hmm? but. Really? It's cool. See, I thought you would get very aggravated by it. Hmm. I think you need to go on the right, not the. Okay, never mind. show you much past what you're seeing here you know i mean it's yeah. not brighter so you can't really see exactly which way to go oh this is tough as nails man mm -hmm. 
doing okay, still sore. So, hopefully it just keeps feeling better and better. Oh! I need to go to the right. Oh god. This is so hard. Like, is there any way to like make it easier? No, there's no way to make it easier. There's help. Yeah. <laughs> help. This doesn't help me a whole lot. No. Oh man, this is tough. I love it though. Arcade. Arcade cabinet color war. Yep. Yeah, because they're making this like an old arcade style game. Mm -hmm. So I like that. No! Uh, Inverters, you guess you're the only younger one in here? Uh, I don't know. It all depends on how uh, old you are. Darn it. Um, there might be, I mean, there are nine people in the stream, so you might not be the youngest one in here. Don't know. Yeah, who knows? I love this game, though, guys. I really do. The game, guys, this game is 99 cents on Steam. Let me, um. We. Oh god. Oh, oh no! We oh, had 10 people god. here watching. Welcome everybody. Watch. Yeah, welcome, welcome to. Welcome everyone. Guys, I think we found another Zaxter's Indie Gem. I fucking love this game. This is game is definitely not an asset <laughs> flip. This game is fun as nails. Exactly. It's hard as nails too. Okay. But let me go ahead and show Back you guys here. I said the same thing. Um, that, uh, yeah, I'm sitting here kind of surprised too because, yeah, platformers are not his thing. So. Doesn't look like my typical kind of game. I wouldn't really call no. this a platformer. This is more like it says an yeah, indie action. It's um, not. Yeah, that's a little different. True. Let's um. Let's look at the trailer here. This is what's great about it, the procedurally generated levels. Uh, compete on the leaderboard. So it has a leaderboard, so you can compete against me. And how far can you make it up? Yeah, this is a game where it's not a question of if you're gonna die. You're definitely gonna die. It's just. How far can you climb up before? Well, maybe you can climb out and. How, how up. far can you get before right. it kills you? How many yeah. points can you get? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're gonna die. It's just how far, how many points can you score before, um, before you, uh, for your toast, if you would. Uh, <laughs> Dreamverse Entertainment, you've done it again, you guys. Uh, awesome value. I mean, this is again another perfect reason why I always say. What do I say all the time, Sarah? Graphics don't make the game. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Um, and this is what's sad. Only four reviews. This game came out a couple of months ago. And what's even sadder, guys, is Color Vore. Color Vore oh, here so came out a year ago. The only review here is mine. We played this game right when it came yeah. out. I gave this game a 92%. I mean, I did everything I could. I made a video of it. I got a YouTube video here. This game has scored a 92% of me. Uh, and again, this is again another reason why you can't judge a game by the graphics. Uh, this is a game where you change colors. You gotta go try to eat whatever color you are of a blob. The bigger the blob is, the more it fills you up or the more it satisfies you. Uh, and uh, yeah, it just says nom the colors. A brilliant little game. It's super fun. There's monsters that come after you. Uh, again, you're trying to survive as long as you can before you wither away. And uh, Six people found my review helpful, but it doesn't look like, well, maybe people might have bought it. They just haven't left it to review. So this is another thing I just want to bring up, guys. If you guys are playing games on Steam like this one, it's so weird, the irony of us people. It feels like people will play a game and they'll play something like this and they may have fun with it. They may play it for two or three hours and they get it for 99 cents. They're like, oh, this is a funny little game. And uh, they won't leave a review That's for it. it. Mm -hmm. They won't leave a review for it. But then they'll go buy a forty dollar triple A game that has ten thousand reviews, and they're more likely to leave that review, you know, a triple A game a review that already has ten thousand reviews. No, help these smaller guys, help these smaller developers, especially if you like a game like this. Uh, obviously, it doesn't help if you leave negative reviews. But if you like a little game like this, you know, go help the the poor developer out and give him a review because yeah, let yeah. let them know. 
that you like it. Let them know that you enjoyed their game. Well, not only the developer, so they you make like more, so they don't get discouraged and stop. That's true too, Sarah. Yeah. You know, but also, I mean, what if indie developers got discouraged and a lot of them stopped making games? You know, so definitely, you know, leave your opinion. If you like a game, say so. Yeah, definitely. Even negative feedback, and, and as long as you can leave it constructively, it can be helpful. Can be helpful, mm -hmm. especially if it's you know if you're not being a jerk and you're being honest and saying, hey, you if know, you're not just saying this game sucks. I had first. this problem or that problem, you know, so that way they yeah, know. Uh, yeah, don't be a jerk about future. it. But guys, yeah, um, Dreamverse Entertainment with original. I like the originality of these games as well. They definitely have a retro appeal, but they have. They, they do they, have a very retro feel. It, it feels like something you would have played. You know, we would have played. We <laughs> yeah. would have played back in the 80s. Um, yeah, definitely. but you would have paid $40 so, for yeah. it on the Atari or something. Oh, yeah. Back in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> True. Not 99 cents. <laughs> Good old Atari yeah, system, yeah. yeah. But, uh, guys, I mean, Sarah, I'm going to let you help me on this. Yeah. I mean... Value. I've already played this game half an hour, ninety nine cents. Can you see a reason not to give this game a forty value? Um, I really, I don't. Um, some people might. So. I think yeah, we're more inclined I, to get forgive I, graphics because we grew up with graphics being. Yeah, we grew up with like charts. Right, and right. Computers. We did. Yeah, so. we had the original Atari and we had the arcade only games and and all that. So yeah, I think we are much more inclined to accept <laughs> these kind of graphics than other people. But I think sure. if you ever watch my... It's just our age. It's just our generation. Yeah, I mean, you know, and we've proven it time and time and time again. Again, the game that I first game I played this stream, the top-down shooter had nice polished graphics. It looked ten times better than this, you know? Yeah, but it, it was a negative it was a miss <laughs> i gave it a zero yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah. wasn't any good at all this game's half the price it doesn't have as nice looking graphics but this is actually a game made by the heart it's made with creativity um the developer put a lot of work into this um you know it's uh i've never played a game quite like this i think this game's fun as hell it came out what three almost four months ago now and uh, only has four reviews and it's only 99 cents. That's freaking sad. Yeah, so 40 out of 40 all day long, guys. I already got half an hour into this game, and uh, first time I played it, it's 99 cents uh, to get a get a high score on value. And there's quite a learning curve to it too. True, you're gonna, you yeah, know, it's gonna take you a while to learn. It's challenging how to for even sure. Begin to move really much. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you stick with it, I think almost anybody can easily get an hour out of this just to try to learn how to, you um, know, and play it even. Asks is, are you gonna try out any? Are you going? Are you going to try out some 3D games? Because I'm really curious about it. Uh, we've done 3D games in the past. It just really all depends on what comes up. What we um, have, what kind of keys I have. As what we have and what keys we have at the time. Oh. But, um... Probably not because i got to set up a computer, guys. I have to... Uh, go yeah, to probably today. not today. Uh, but we can look and see... You know what we've got, and you know it's not it's not always two D games. I might have so enough uh, Steam trading cards of, worth of 3D it. Three D games. Um, guys, again, I can't say it enough. Don't uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Go out and get this game. Play it. You got two hours to play it. If you don't like it, get your ninety nine cents back. I'm just saying. Um, support this developer though. I think this developer is really putting out some quality content. I can't say it enough. Quit judging a book by its cover. Uh, this game's fantastic. Uh, you know, this game's gonna be hard. If you're looking game for a game that's probably a little bit easier, maybe buy their Color War first, see how you like that. Uh, and then maybe buy this one if you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge or if you like to look better, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think this game, 40 out of 40 value. Uh, how much fun is the game? This is gonna be the more subjective part of my scoring. I think, I think a challenging game like this is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to learn how to right-click to release and then, you know, trying to jump and, you know, it's not the most fun game out there that there is, but for a little game like this, I think this game's, you know, quite a bit of fun. Um, again, my, you know, my super fun game may not be Sarah's super fun game or your super fun game, but I'm going to go ahead and give sure. this guy a 25 out of 30 on this one. I like this one, guys. Uh, next criteria is controls and bugs. Uh, how are the controls? Do I, am I seeing any bugs? I'm not really seeing any bugs. I like the fact that it has these sliders. You know, you don't see that a whole lot in 99 cent games. 
and uh, high scores and on Steam. You don't see that a whole lot in 99 cent games a lot of times either. Uh, controls of bugs, I don't see anything wrong with it, guys. It works perfectly. You know, you just gotta get, you just gotta get used to it and practice. Yeah, I used to. It's made to be things. challenging. So 20 out of 20 okay. for that, and then graphics and sound. I mean, we're not comparing this to Skyrim, guys. It's not that type of a game. Uh, for the type of game that it is, for the <laughs> price of the true. game, for a dollar game, I think the graphics are fine. I like the sound effects. I think it's great. Nine out of ten. Grab that all up, guys. It's just the first impression score. Forty out of forty for value. Uh, I said twenty-five for fun. Yeah, twenty-five out of thirty for fun is sixty-five. Twenty out of twenty for controls and bugs is eighty-five. Nine out of ten for graphics and sound. Climb out makes my first indie Zach Zaxer's indie gold by this developer. Because Color War last year got a 92. It just barely missed that 93. Barely, barely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this one a 94. I really like this one. It's hard, but I like it. And it's only 99 cents, 94%. Now there's X, there's any gold. So we had a miss today. We've had miss number 83 or whatever. Oh, and we yeah, have, that was a big one. <laughs> and we have Zaxter's any gold climb out. Guys, uh, definitely go yeah. check it out. I, re I recommend this one.